Alright, here we are again, Deer Valley Airport. We're going on another flight training lesson with the same CFI. In my car here, I've got my sister. She's hiding. Don't know why. But I love sharing aviation, and so today I'm taking her on her first general aviation flight, and it's going to be a blast. Alright, I got her out of the car. Once she saw the airplane, she's pretty excited. So, here she is, We're going flying again. Same airplane. Alright, I promised myself that in this video, I wouldn't make a super long takeoff intro. I wanted to make this one more about my training and what I learned from my instructor. But, my equipment had different plans. For starters, the audio recorder just didn't work. Which may have been a good thing, because I fumbled my way through my first ATC communications. But also, one of my cameras was acting up. Mostly the one I used to point out the nose, but it would just randomly stop recording. So all I have is video footage, and I've put together what I can. So my overall goal for this flight was to practice some maneuvers and get a few landings in. But because my sister was in the plane and it was our first flight, I didn't want to do anything too drastic. So we flew just outside of town and started working on some steep turns. The turns were exactly what I expected them to be. We tipped the wing to roughly 30 degrees and completed a few 360s. The goal was to stay within a 100 foot range, keep the plane gliding through the turn, and roll out onto heading. During the turns, the plane had a tendency to lose altitude and slip through the turn. So after entering the turn, I added a little elevator trim and applied some rudder by stepping on the ball of the turn coordinator. Once set, the plane kind of performed the turns on its own. I rolled out when we got close to our heading and readjusted the trim as needed. Next I tried my hand with slow flight, with some flaps. The first thing I needed to do was slow the plane down. I reduced my throttle and added some carb heat to bring the RPMs down. Then as my airspeed decreased, I added a notch of flaps to 10 degrees. We didn't get the airplane going so slow that you could hear the stall horn, but one thing I did notice that the slower we got, the less responsive the airplane was. Now because we were in slow flight configuration, my flight instructor made a joke about stalls. Being my sister's first flight, I wasn't sure she would even want to attempt such a feat. To my surprise, she was all in. So we practiced a power off stall. We reduced the power to idle and pitched the plane up. Eventually, we lost lift and the plane went to a stall.
I gently pushed forward on the yoke to pitch the nose of the plane down and added power for the recovery. It almost seemed too simple. I would have loved to keep trying more, but we were running out of time and needed to get back to the airport. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like the video below if you liked it, and leave us a comment on what you thought or would like to see on our channel. If you really liked it, click the subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Facebook to be kept up on what we're doing and see other aviation related things. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on our next adventure.